I am Boba Fett. Hi, my name is Dave Dorman. I'm a freelance illustrator. I've been working with Lucasfilm for more than 25 years with Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Also done uh, Aliens and Predator, uh, Captain America, Batman, a lot of superheroes, a lot of fun work. Uh, during my uh, time at Dark Horse Comics, uh, we started uh, the resurgence of, of Star Wars in comics with Dark Empire. Uh, during that uh, time period, we did uh, six issues for the original Dark Empire and then another uh, six issues for Dark Empire 2. I had done a painting of Bubba Fett for the Dark Empire 2 series, which ended up to be very popular. So during the mid-90s, I got a license from Lucasfilm personally to do limited edition prints of my Star Wars artwork. And the first one that we did was that Bubba Fett artwork. It turned out to be very popular. It was a signed and numbered edition of 1,500 copies and it sold out immediately. Since that time, I've continued to do limited edition prints of uh, uh, Star Wars artwork and a couple more Bubba Fetts uh, in particular. One of the things that I try to do is capture the adventure of the bounty hunter in my painting, the, the, the man who is always after something with, with all of his heart and soul. He doesn't care whether it's good or bad, it's that bounty that, that counts. Bubba Fett has always been a popular character for the fans, and certainly it's been a popular character for me to paint as well. I like it because there's a lot of detail in the, the costuming and the character. Uh, visually, we have a lot of fun colors uh, with Bubba Fett. Stormtroopers are all white, Darth Vader's all black. But with Bubba Fett, we have a nice variety of colors, nice variety of details. The Wookiee braids that are on his uh, right shoulder, the Mandalorian symbol that's on his left, uh, his rope belt, uh, the, the pockets on his belt, a lot of really fun things to paint. So that's really drawn me to that character quite a bit. Uh, the fans, like I said, love Bubba Fett as well, so I end up doing a lot of sketches uh, of Bubba Fett uh, at conventions. Uh, I've done a couple of other paintings uh, for fans as well. To this day, more than uh, 25 years later, since I started painting Bubba Fett, I still am. Certainly working with Star Wars and with Bubba Fett uh, for the past 25 years, I've had a lot of fun with those projects, but I've also done some things on my own uh, that I've started to work on a little bit more uh, in recent years. Uh, I've been doing some large canvas paintings for uh, a gallery show that I'm trying to put together as well as working on a project that I started a number of years ago called Wasted Lands. Uh, we're finally getting around to publishing some material based on the Wasted Lands, and we're starting out with a Kickstarter right now that's uh, active. Uh, it's for a book called Amazing Tales of the Wasted Lands. It's a, a sort of pulp-like anthology uh, featuring five different stories. I'm doing brand new artwork for the project, as with all Wasted Lands project. It's my artwork and, and uh, it's fun for me to do something of my own. So we're looking forward to getting that off the ground. The first issue uh, will be out in, in November. Kickstarter is right now and then we're looking forward to a bi-monthly after that. And we'll see where it goes. But I definitely uh, appreciate the support of my Star Wars fans uh, for this project. Here I am at Comic-Con uh, 2017. Uh, it's a great uh, show. I've been coming since 1983, believe it or not, when it was a small show, just comics way in, on the other side of town. Uh, it's always great uh, to come to this show. Uh, obviously, Star Wars fans come out, and it's great to meet them. Uh, but it's also great to meet new fans, do sketches, sign autographs for the kids and the adults, and uh, just have a wonderful time. Uh, Comic-Con has been you know, good to me for so many years and, and it's always uh, a pleasure to come back.